Greetings everyone, Only Farm Guy here with an introduction to Precision Farming on Farming Simulator 22. Now, before I start, this uh, video is designed for those who maybe have never tried Precision Farming. This is a mod by uh, Giants Software and their partners. Uh, you can find it under um, Precision Farming DLC by Giant Software, 73.67 megabytes to download. Now what it does, it, it modifies the game to mm, do some special things that I will be showing you now. This is for designed for people uh, who have never played Precision Farming with FS uh, Farming Simulator 22. Uh, and um, even, but uh, anyone who maybe has played uh, with Precision Farming in Farming Simulator 19, as it was a mod, I uh, can't remember who the modder was, but it was a third party like a, a modder made it. This one's by Giants. Now, it basically the same, but there are some significant differences that uh, if you have not played with Precision Farming on Farming Simulator 22, then you may want to watch this. All right. Having said all that, first of all, uh, if you go into your menu, you will notice that you have a new, mm, uh, a new menu item, Precision Farming. And as you can see, we're here on Elm Creek because um, it's a nice, it's a giant standard um, uh, map that comes with the game and has been updated and everything. And also, uh, the precision, precision farming has been updated. This is, uh, this is being recorded on July the 17th, 2022, just so you know. Right, okay, so let's go back into the menu. Okay, so we gotta, we see a lot of stuff going on here. Now, for the, for, for the beginner, um, pretty much you don't have to worry about too much of this. Uh, it all looks confusing if we're scrolling through with your left bumper. You have, uh, you're gonna have yield, seed rate, soil types, pH, nitrogen, and back to yield. Now, as you can see, I have uh, harvested a little strip here of uh, this crop and this over here has nothing in it it is bare it is bare ground so we have a couple of examples now first thing to consider is there are two ways to soil sample now precision farming requires that you sample the soil and that will give you uh, and that will give the game basically or you information about the soil and what the uh, uh, what the uh, fertilizer content or the um, um, the fertilizer content and the pH uh, level. So all the it's so basically everything you know about the basic game kind of goes out the window. So we no longer have the two applications of fertilizer, um, the um, the one the liming, turning liming on or off. The liming is on, whether you switch it on or off or not, because there are pH values and so forth. We'll, we'll kind of touch on those, but basically to get started, you can do it either two ways. We have this, the Assyria Scout, which you can find under tools and miscellaneous. Now this is uh, the same from Farm Sim 19. This this is this was the only way you could um, uh, soil sample. Now we're going to show you how to do that right now. Uh, actually, if we go back into there, sorry, uh, it is a little bit expensive. However, um, you were going to need to soil sample every five harvests. So after five times harvesting. I got seventeen thousand. You can lease it and give it back, um, so you're not had. You don't have it all the time. So there are options, but uh, soil sampling is something you're going to have to do every every five harvests. So every time you harvest, it's going to get a little bit darker and a little bit darker. But we'll show you first of all how to use this. Now you get in here. Now you're going to need your. Um, your little uh, field window down the left corner on. 
And what, uh, let's get our help window open here. Help window, and what we want to do is L1 and X is unfolds it, and as you can see now on the bottom left corner, a green circle appears. That is your soil sampling um, area. And so what you want to do is just position it over the part of the field that you want to soil sample. And again, L1 and square takes the soil sample. So see it's flashing and as you've take, once you've taken it, it's going to go through a little procedure. And now you see there's a brown uh, area where you have taken that soil sample. So you know, that's how you know where, where have you have already soil sampled the soil. <laughs> All right, let's do this one more. And this is as big as this circle gets. There is no, so for a small field like this, two soil samples, bam, bam, you're done. Very nice. Now, on a bigger field, it's going to take much longer. You're going to have to go up and down and up and down and, and back and forth. Now, now what you need to do is you need to go L1 and triangle. You have to send the soil samples for analysis, otherwise it's not going to work. So don't forget, before you fold it up or anything, L1, once you're done taking all the samples, and triangle, and the soil samples are now being sent to the laboratory for analysis. You will get the results soon. Okay, so we should be seeing them shortly because we only sent in two samples. So the more samples you send in, the longer it takes. There we go. Soil samples analyzed, $100. So it's $50 per sample. All right. And then now, if we go into our menu again and back to precision farming, uh, the yield is the same because we have just harvested that. We can see that as a yield percentage, 50. It's pretty bad because there was nothing done. Now, if we go over to soil types, now we can see the soil types of our sample. Uh, sandy loam, loam, etc., etc. They don't really have to worry too much about that. That's information. pH level is your a lime, your pH, which is adjusted by your lime. We'll show you that in a minute. And nitrogen, nitrogen being red, being bad, or zero, is there. Now, also what that gives you is you, your uh, bottom right uh, corner now has a precision farming window along with your field information. Uh, it gives you your pH and nitrogen levels there as well. So you don't have to always uh, look uh, here. Now, that isn't the only way to sample. There is actually an easier way. It's a little bit more expensive. If we go back into there, precision farming, and we right click on your right uh, joystick. Now we have fields, uh, you can, uh, that's the only ones we own, so hold on a second, let's buy this one, or let's, let's buy this one. Okay, so now we can go back and I just wanted to show you that you can, you can't click once you're in precision farming economic analysis, right click on your right button. So this is going to include all these free fields. That's why I bought this. You can um, you can pick the field. Now, as you can see, I can click between these ones. Now I'm in here. Now look at the bottom left. You have back, purchase soil information, move cursor, zoom, map, select. Now we have this field. Now I don't want to go with that other method. I just want to get the soil samples done for me. So we press triangle. Now it's going to cost me $612 to do that field. Yes. And bam, instantaneous information. I love it. <laughs> right. Okay. So that's how to soil sample. Um, that is the first thing you need to do to a field for precision farming to work properly. Now, 
um, for those of you who are used to fertilizing first, seeding, and then fertilizing again to get to two, two states of fertilizer, forget all that. Um, we're going to move on to seeding. Now, what this precision farming does now, now that I have sampled this soil, I have not sampled this soil. Let's go back in here and purchase that whole thing. So now I've purchased this whole thing, right? <laughs> there we go. pH value. It says I'm good. And if we look at our map, pH value is pretty much green, which is good. Green is good. If you go into blue, that's too much. Um, or red is too little. You'll never see blue unless you override something and you're putting on too much. It won't let you. I will show you that in a minute. Nitrogen, we're all basically zero. There's no nitrogen in any of this soil. Now, I have this John Deere little seeder because it does both uh, seed and fertilizer. And if we hop in, as you can see down on the right bottom, seed and fertilizer. And now, top left corner here, we have a whole bunch of more information here. Now, what this is basically is your nitrogen mineral ap uh, application rate and your seed rate. Now, neither one of those are you're going to have to worry at all about if you just leave it on automatic. And if you, uh, let's see, let's turn on, there we go. So, L1, it says, it says top left, deactivate automatic application rate. No, don't don't do that. Leave it like this because we'll turn on our seed. Well, okay, there we go. Wait a minute. All right, turn on our seeder. Now oh, it's already turned on. It's one of those things that are always on. Um, and as you notice there, see that little flag. That is how much fertilizer it is applying for this crop. Now let me explain a little bit. We're we're planting wheat. Now, um, if we were planting some other crop, it would be applying a different rate of fertilizer. So that's this is this what this does is it it, apply, it applies the perfect amount of fertilizer for the crop you are planting in the type of soil you're planting in it. So it's basically a set and forget. So um, it's as simple as that. Um, basically what it does is you no longer have to go over it again uh, fertilizing it twice it's one time this is once I've passed over this now I'm gonna give another pass here and we're gonna go look at it remember there was no further okay now uh, again too. look at the bottom left you see it's going from red to green green meaning good at least good for this crop. So now we're looking at it, right bottom right, pH value, we know that was good. Now the nitrogen, it has applied the perfect amount of nitrogen to this field for uh, this particular crop. We also have expected yield and yield potential. That So as we sit right now, we're pretty good. 97 out of 100 is pretty good. That's that's something else that's we're going to cover in a in a future um, episode or future video. Now let's just go over here for the sake of those who maybe don't want or don't have uh, something that does them both at the same time. So the one thing you do not want to do is do not fertilize first and then plant because there's no crop in the field and it doesn't know what to put on. So it just puts the maximum on. And that's going to hurt your yield because some crops don't, re different crops require different kinds of fertile, a different rate of fertilizer. Right, so here we are, we got corn in a planter and we don't have any fertilizer in it. It's not, uh, it's not uh, one of those that fertilize and uh, plant at the same time. So we're going to plant a couple of rows and there's nothing that's going to show up except our seed rate, our se variable seed rate is at the at the top left and that you don't have to worry about either that's just automatic so it's just going to apply the proper amount of seeds um, you can it's it's something it's it's a 
it's based on soil type and how much seed usage for particular soils and it's not not something you have to worry about it's 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 automatic most of this if not as a matter of fact all of this is all actually automatic you're just putting the stuff in and you're planting or seeding it is very uh basic and simple or as or um i mean it it's as camp complicated as as you want it and if you don't want it very complicated you just go ahead and do it now we have planted corn um, there's no nitrogen, so now if we're looking at here, we've planted corn here, it's still red because we have not applied any nitrogen. All right, so then what? Now, once we've planted the, the crop, now when we apply, what is we, what have we got here? We've got fertilizer, right. So uh, let's just narrow this down to a smaller <laughs> width. And so n now, if we come over to this spot here, it's going to give us, it should, there we go. See now that the little flag came up on there? So now it's going to apply the perfect amount of nitrogen for this crop. Now we're overspreading it, so it's, it's going to be a little bit, but this is, th this is to demonstrate what this um, this does now now it has applied the perfect amount of fertilizer as you can see perfect nitrogen bottom right corner precision farming for corn because we planted the corn first and then we fertilized it right all right now one more thing lime or pH value. Now let's see over here. Now pH, uh, yes, here we go. pH value is okay. And we have lime in this tractor over here. Now, uh, the thing with lime, you can put it on any time, whenever you want. Uh, it doesn't, it's not particular to any kind of um, before or after kind of thing or anything like that so now um you see the little flag at the top there's the there's a red mark which where we're at and the little flag is where ideal is and we're very close now seeing that and looking at the bottom left we have green we're going to start this up and it's a pretty wide spread but notice we're not using very much for, for the amount that we're spreading here. Uh, we're doing the entire field actually as it is and but we have only applied exactly the amount of lime that was needed which was uh, it's now perfect. So we went from okay to perfect. So that's how the lime works too. So it works for the lime, it works for the seed, works for the fertilizer, works for everything. And it's a one-time uh, application for fertilizer. Once you've applied the fertilizer on the uh, field, let's just narrow this down a little bit so we're not spreading half the, half the field. And as you can see, we're applying, this one needed a little bit more but lime um, application is uh, pH level is the same for every crop anywhere for anything. It isn't specific to crop type. It is specific to the soil. As you as you may see, if we go over to so pH now pH is going to follow soil type. So some soil types require more. Uh, different pH level than other soil types. If we go to soil types, you see there's a little bit of a strip there, and pH is going to be there's there's pH level is going to be uh, higher here than in some other spots because of the soil type. All right, no, stop that. And I think that uh, pretty much should get you started. Um, we've covered how to take soil samples and how to get started with seeding and planting using um, 
the um, the automatic application, and pretty much that's all I ever use. I never really go to a manual application. The automatic is set there because it all works together. And um, the yield, uh, oh yes. Um, so if we go back in there just briefly and look at our yield, that's just a way to tell you to tell you your 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 actual yield and then you have a whole bunch of economic analysis there that you can look into but basically you you plant it you you can you can look at your field information looking down it's ready to harvest expected yield is 67 percent yield potential is 89 percent so yield potential is um depends on soil type see we went over here our soil changed and the yield potential went up to 100 percent so Lots of stuff going on here, but it's I, I know it seems daunting and overwhelming, but those basic simple three simple four three or four simple any of these four things, um, the two ways to soil sample, the planting before or with uh, uh, with planting with fertilizer, all at the same time, or fertilizing after you have planted is pretty much the main key point of this uh, video. Hopefully this has uh, been uh, informative and helpful to you all. I hope it was straightforward and easy to understand. Um, and if uh, uh, all things willing, um, hopefully I'll be able to um, continue this um, series and get a little bit more in depth to the different aspects of precision farming and uh, please do enjoy it uh, it is uh, among other things time saver and just you know a little, some added interesting things to the game for sure and um, and that that's about it um, I'm Lily Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so until next time goodbye for now